Hello everyone and welcome to the Relationship in Sex Education in Primary Schools and this is a curriculum update for 2024. This presentation is an introduction to our new Relationships in Sex Education curriculum and will hopefully give you an idea about what our new curriculum involves. And this is the first stage in our parent consultation around our new curriculum this year. In 2020, the Department for Education introduced a new compulsory element to the curriculum and we have a legal responsibility to provide a sex education programme. The summer term is when we will start to teach some of the elements of this curriculum and we have the flexibility to prioritise what we teach during this first term based on the needs of our children. So what is RSE? Well, this is Relationships and Sex Education and it sits alongside our PSHE curriculum. We have taught PSHE in schools for many years. It's a personal, social, health and economic education. And this new edition is really the relationships element of this curriculum. And what it does is put in place key building blocks that children need to ensure that as they grow, they have positive, safe relationships with family, friends and with people online Health education continues to be a priority within this curriculum and it aims to give children information that they need to make good decisions about their own health and well-being and to recognise issues in themselves and others and to get support and help where they need it. On this slide, just like the slide before, you'll see where you can find further information from the government website relating to relationships and health education relationships. Sex education has an important place within our school curriculum and it's about teaching children about respectful relationships and this is really important so that children get a well-rounded education. It's about embedding really positive behaviours and attitudes of respect and equality in the school which then has an effect on mental health behaviour and relationships beyond the classroom. The aims of our PSHE and RSE curriculums are about equipping children with the knowledge that they need to make informed decisions about their well-being, their health and their relationships. And they're all about preparing children for a successful adult life. The world has changed so much and continues to change. And so the need to broaden the curriculum, to review it regularly and to include elements such as online relationships is really relevant to our children. And this is the rationale behind the update to this curriculum. The Marches Academy Trust has a policy around relationships and sex education for all schools within the Trust. So that includes us and the policy is in line with the Department of Education's guidance. And the guidance is shown on the slide is about providing a framework for children so that they have a structure and a safe place to have sensitive discussions which prepare them for adulthood. This slide you can explore in a little bit more detail in the trust policy, which I'll mention again a little bit later in this presentation. Parental engagement is key in relationships and sex education. First of all, your engagement throughout this consultation process helps us to get the teaching of relationships and sex education right for all children. And it also enables parents to raise questions and concerns that they may have and to have the whole process clarified in addition to that, the work that we do in PSHE and sex and relationships education links very, very closely to the important lessons that you teach your child at home about healthy relationships, looking after themselves and staying safe. So ensuring that you all have a full understanding of what we cover in school is really important so that the children get a consistent and clear message. It's also very important that you are aware of your right to withdraw your child from certain elements of this curriculum. And I will point those areas out in the later slides because there are two lessons in year six. You can't withdraw your child from any element of relationships education. It's statutory and it's important that all children receive this content. We will teach any sex education that we provide at an age appropriate level to different groups of children and we can share more information with you about this by showing you some of the resources that we will use to deliver these sessions. 
This may also include the school nurse from the local authority or members of the Marches Academy Trust. If you don't want your child to take part in some or all of the lessons on sex education, you can ask for your child to be withdrawn from those lessons. And you do that through a request to myself as the head teacher. This is outlined in more detail in our policy. The science curriculum does include some content on human development, including reproduction, and there's no ability to withdraw children from the science element of this curriculum. So I've just mentioned the resources that we are using to deliver our curriculum for science, and these are available for you to have to look through on our website. So we have our Kapow scheme of work. And this is shown on this slide here. This document is being shared with all parents as part of this initial phase of the consultation. You can see on the screen a snapshot of what that includes for each year group. And the resources that we will send out to parents along with this consultation document go into more detail about what each of these lessons contain. It also provides an overview of the sections that parents could choose to opt out of if they wanted their child to be withdrawn. So as part of this consultation process, we would encourage parents to have a look at both of these documents so that you've all got a full understanding of the whole of this curriculum alongside this consultation presentation and our planning documents. You will also find the trust relationships and sex educational policy. You'll notice that this policy was written and agreed so that it is in line with Department for Education expectations. Please do look through this policy on the screen. Here you will see in appendices that that's referenced and it clearly states in this document in Appendix 1 what the children should know by the end of primary school. And this is the Department for Education expectation. And this is what is covered in our planning documents that we've shared with you. So this presentation is the initial stage of our parent consultation. The next steps are outlined on this slide. You can listen to this presentation as many times as you need to and then read the policy that I've mentioned and that's sent, they're going to be sent out along with this presentation and also have a read of the frequently asked questions. The link to these frequently asked questions will appear on the final sli slide of this presentation. And these are frequently asked questions that have been compiled by the Department for Education. Once you've had a look at the policy and these frequently asked questions, you can then have a read of the planning materials provided by the PSHE overview and the RS overview for, from Kapow. Once you've had a look at all those documents and you've got an idea of what this curriculum is all about, a questionnaire will be sent to parents. You receive a link electronically and it's to gather your views on the materials shared, both the policy and the planning materials. It will also include a section where you can raise questions that you may still have following the completion of the questionnaires. You can be invited to a drop in session so that school leaders can answer your questions. They will provide answers to anything raised in the questionnaire and can also look in more detail at the planning materials the individual lesson plans, and we can discuss them in more detail and answer any further questions that you might have. Moving forward, the policy will be reviewed regularly and teachers will send information to parents each term that outlines the relationships and sex education that is going to be taught during that term. So parents are aware of what's being taught. They can then raise any questions or concerns and if applicable, they can request to withdraw their child from any sections that they don't deem appropriate. I hope this introduction has been useful. Please do look at those frequently asked questions in the link on this page and look out for the parent questionnaire and the invite to our consultation meeting. Thank you very much. Take care.